Hello, everyone. Welcome to Winning Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today, and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well, today I just stopped by just to encourage us to keep God first. Amen. Keeping God first, we there's no lack. We will lack for nothing. We will want for nothing. Amen. There's no lack in God. Amen. And he withholds no good thing from us. He's provided us with everything that we need as it pertains to life and godliness. Amen. Keep God, keeping God first, um, you know, allows him to rearrange the pro- our priorities in our lives. Amen. Rearrange some things in our lives, right? Because God, you know, the change starts with the heart. Okay. And God is concerned about our hearts. He's concerned about our hearts. He's not concerned about our looks, our weight. He's not concerned about where, where we live or what we drive, what's in our bank accounts. He's not concerned about what we give, how we dress, um, our education, how many degrees that we have or the lack thereof. He's not concerned about any of those things. Amen. God is concerned about our hearts. He wants us to give him the throne of our hearts. Amen. And he will change our desires, right? He will change our desires. And by us giving him the throne of our hearts, enable, um, you know, it, it enables us to truly be satisfied in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. OK, so take a moment and think about what's really important. Right. You know, in the in the big grand in the the big scheme of things, um, everything on this earth will pass away. Amen. Everything on this earth is temporary, right? None of it is going to last, but God's kingdom, God's love, God's faithfulness will never change. Amen. He is the only one that is worthy of our devotion. He is the only one that we should have our focus on. Amen. We should keep our eyes lifted up to the heels from where our cup, our help comes from. We should keep our focus on him. Amen. And so no matter what everyone else is doing, it doesn't matter. Amen. We should keep our, um, keep God first and keep our focus on him. Amen. It doesn't matter even where we are in our lives, what situation or circumstance we are, what season in our lives that we are in right now. Um, we just need to keep God first and trust him. Amen. Because again, the treasures of this earth are passing away. Okay. All our earthy, all of our earthly pursuits, excuse me, are temporary and only what we do for Christ will last. Amen. That is the word of of the Lord. So let's keep God first and let's store up our treasures in heaven. Amen. Um, Where nothing will be destroyed. Amen. Because the Bible tells us, you know, that we are to seek God's kingdom first and everything else will be added unto us anyway. It's about keeping, having our priorities together. Amen. And so, um, you know, God is Jehovah Jireh. He provides our every need. Every, amen. All of our needs are met. Um, we just simply just need to trust him. We just need to believe him and have faith. We just need to have faith, right? We walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Um, because, you know, we ourselves are blind, right? If you will. Um, the Bible said I once was blind, but now I see. Amen. And because... Um, And faith is our vision. Again, walk by faith and not by sight. Okay, so faith is our vision, right? And um, it's not our will. It's God's will. It's his will, plan, and purpose for our lives. Amen. Faith is letting go and letting God. Let God be God. And we just get out the way. Amen. That's having faith. You know, uh, trusting and believing him to do exactly what he said that he would do. Right. Faith is casting all of our cares, all of our burdens onto our Lord and and Savior, Jesus Christ. All of our doubts, fears, anxieties, um, our situation, our circumstances, whatever it may be, our insecurities, whatever it may be. Cast it all unto the Lord. He said we can cast all of our cares unto him. He said, listen, he said that his yoke is easy and his burdens are light. Amen. So we need to learn from him. Okay. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Okay. Faith, um, it comes in the release, right? So when we release all those things to the Lord, when we cast all those things to the Lord, right? That's having faith, right? But if we're, if we're, um, holding on to those things, we want to, um, take care of it ourselves, right? We don't want to get out of the way. Amen. When we, when we just don't want to relinquish it unto God, God can't intervene. 
He can't do anything with that if we don't release it to him. If we don't give it to him, if we don't cast it to him. Amen. So um, releasing it all to God, give it all to the Lord, take it all to the Lord in prayer and laying it all down at his feet. Amen. Uh, so we release all things to God. And when we, we do that, we're showing that we trust him, that we believe in him. And then not only that, we are releasing our faith in him. Amen. So listen to next time, know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Be intentional, love on purpose, blessings. Thank you.